There were a few bodies here and there, but the place had obviously been abandoned for some time. We started going through the patient records. There it was. Douglas Bain. DOA. Cause of death unknown. Body transferred without autopsy to Grim Lake Cemetery. Site 3B. By order of National Biohazard Containment Unit. Well, that's just wonderful. Hey, this dead guy. Let's get him out of here. We don't need to do an autopsy. Nah. Just send him to the graveyard. He'll be okay. Well, so... Uh, the start of this stage is kind of unique. You can head to the south and totally explore. You got a... Uh, Armor chest here. Armor shell fill number four. Hey, that's quite good. Got a bunch of cars, a bunch of money. Of course, it's not all free and easy. Couple of slow bombers, but that's nothing. A real nice uh, chest in the back of that truck there that they were protecting. So yeah, kind of a unique starting area. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is uh, the graveyard. Stage uh, 7. Just to make sure you know what you're watching. And we now have dynamite available. Very, uh, very powerful. It's another throwing item. So right around, uh, right around this stage, you're going to start buying some of the more expensive weapons. Like the shocker. The launcher. You know, now that you can uh, start to afford these things. Gotta get me some of that armor shell four. This is max uh, endurance right there. Not bad. Agility is always good, especially in these later stages. As you can see, I'm kind of uh, gearing myself up more towards agility. That uh, Armo Suit 4 really helps with the endurance. So you can afford to focus on some agility just that much more. Get myself a shocker, because why not buy some cheap upgrades. Okay, let's do this. I convinced my buddy Devin to uh, upgrade as well. I mean, you look at the stats, there's just no way. And being the graveyard and all, you can uh, just bet that we're going to have some tough fights in front of us. There's an example of the shocker for you. Much better when there's more enemies about and when you've upgraded it up all the way.
some tough uh, enemies here. Nice. Those army zombies are some of the toughest zombies you can fight. You'll notice there's a uh, gate right there. You also notice there's a screamer behind it, and he can scream and get uh, his followers to hurt you, so you may as well keep going. There's some cool fights in the graveyard stage. There's a lot of screamers in this stage too, by the way, so be ready for them. Always take them out as soon as you can. There's another one over there. Lots in a minute. There's another one. So that's three in this area so far. There's even more further on though. Yep, there's and there's one. There's another one over there. That's five now, I think. There's a six one. Jesus. Three runners came bursting out of that tomb. And this area in the uh, upper left hand corner, there was a wall, a breakable wall with what appeared to be an armor box. Is that a seventh one? Jesus, everywhere. Oh, we took them out pretty easily though. And then that uh, podium there, there's a uh, loot chest. Be sure to go get that armor box though, I can't remember if we got it or not. We should have. And it looks like I'm skipping it. Well, there's one I missed. Oh, lots of things here. Flare would be good. And instead, we kind of got uh, trapped in with a Molotov that I threw. <laughs> that was a good grenade though. Can't believe we missed that armor box. Well, at least you guys won't miss it. The music here is really repetitive, don't care for it whatsoever.
Oh, dangerous area. Bladed fella coming at us. As you can see, the uh, shock kind of pauses him for a little bit. There's a uh, loot box there by that uh, tombstone. That runner was guarding it. I'm pretty sure this area is a dead end. Yeah, it is. But there is some loot down here. Two loot boxes. Of course, you're going to be attacked in this narrow area. And there's what we were all waiting for. Zombies to come out of the ground. I bet you were expecting that to happen a lot sooner before now. Of course they shrouded that, I don't know if you noticed, they shrouded that entire area in mist so they wouldn't have to animate the zombies coming out of the ground. It's the only reason I can think of why they would shroud that area in mist. thousand bucks quite a bit And there's a runner. It's a good jump he made. And there's the spawn. Bunch of weak zombies. Another runner coming out of the uh, doorway there. Some spitters. Is a runner trying to be hot, trying to be sneaky? Heidi. <laughs> I do like how they try to be sneaky. I think it's neat. Another one. You always feel good when you spot them. That's probably why I like it. Now these uh, these doorways are going to burst full of enemies. Yep. Soon as you grab that money, as usual, the game likes to punish you. That's pretty easy to see coming. Some of the zombies would get stuck in the doorways, like uh, like you just saw. So be ready for them. Now this ramp, uh, you don't have to go down that one. You can go south. Oh, more zombies rising from the grave. That Molotov was a little too late.
You can head south and go up this ramp if you wanted to. They both lead to the same area. Alright, what, uh, what you need to do here is to shoot the tank. It explodes the wall so we can continue. And this section is fun. Right, yeah. Well, make sure to focus on the blade guy. Using the blade cannon there is a great idea, by the way. So many enemies. And there's a jumper. Took him out pretty quickly. Oh, that fat guy got us. It's a good onslaught here, but once you take care of the blade guy, it's not too bad. There's a, uh, some loot right there, or in this case, ammo. And there's a runner trying to be sneaky. He's not. Lots of zombies right there waiting for us. That's a decent motel, I guess. Ah, screamer. Like most small sections, this one has some loot in it, but you will be attacked by all these zombies. Six thousand bucks, not bad. Quite a few enemies in this level. We're probably doing excellent in the kill count. Yeah, those zombies kind of got me by surprise. Heading north, probably not a good idea when you spawn those enemies there because of the jumpers. But the shocker saves our butt. Two more jumpers. It looks like that health pack is out of range. It's kind of unfortunate.
Okay, we're getting near the end of this video. It's the last pill last place to stock up, so you may as well get ready. Now this section is fun. This is a uh, big wide open area. There's going to be screamers behind walls in here. The entire idea of this area is to break down the walls, kill the screamers. Gotta get to them first of course. Uh, but that should be your first and primary goal, break down the walls, kill the screamers. Uh, you can use the flares to distract the hordes while you're killing the screamer inside. Very difficult to do with a uh, single player game without some sort of distraction or heavy hitting weapon. Like the blade cannon helps out a ton here. And you can just see how much uh, the blade cannon helps. There's going to be, I think there's four screamers in total, so we're finding them. As you can see, the longer you leave them alive, the more uh, more enemies you have to face. I'm pretty much beating them to death inside there. <laughs> Fantastic. And as you uh, kill the screamers, uh, special zombies will show up like the uh, blade fellow very dangerous especially in the midst of tons of enemies and this northern corner here there's always gonna be two of them right next to each other I recommend the shotgun for breaking down the walls quickly a uh, Breaking down both walls, killing both screamers, and a uh, flare for taking care of the smaller enemies. You can see four bombers come in from the left there. Oh, Devin's close to death. Some jumpers there too. Oh, I got some health. That's good. The shotgun's doing short work of the jumpers. Having an upgraded shotgun at this point is... Uh, helps tremendously we got a bunch of runners coming in some uh, acid spitters once you kill the uh, all the screamers and the uh, especially the bladed fellow we pretty much got this area beat not too much more to worry about here just clean up any stragglers and head to the end of the level You have made it. You have beaten the graveyard. And that is it. We'll come back for uh, stage 8, the train yard. We'll hang out some more and kill some more zombies. Okay guys, appreciate it. Later.